What's happening YouTube? Android Audio Recorder Tutorial 7 Building your Android app with Buildoza. If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Oh yeah. We're going to install Buildoza. Okay, it's a program that's going to build your APK so that we can put this on your Android device. Okay, and you will officially be an Android app developer. Okay, and it's really easy. So, we go to github.com slash kivi slash Buildoza. Okay. And as you can see here, examples, all right, it's currently in alpha, okay, but I've used it numerous times and it works perfectly. It will build um, applications for Android, iOS, Windows, OS X and or Linux, okay, and it works perfect, okay, and it's really easy to use. So you can either clone it via GitHub, okay, and we do a sudo python self install, we can do sudo pip install or we can do an easy install okay and all you have to do then is just create your spec file your spec sheet to give to dozer and just to say look this is what I want you to make just build it for me okay and build as it goes okay no problem man it's really that easy I'm gonna show you how it is okay so first of all you need to uh, create a folder and put your main.py in there which would be your audio recorder if you've been following the tutorials okay so place your main.py in there and then um, just create your spec file so you just do a buildozer in it now I've already got buildozer installed okay if you haven't obviously you've got to install it there's my buildozer.spec that I've just created okay now we're going to edit it so we just take our edit our favorite editor Okay, so we can just uh, fill in the information that build doesn't need. So we can put the title of the application we want. You can customize it. You can put your own splash screen, your own thumbnail for the um, the actual logo of the of the application, which is cool. Okay, so title. I'm just going to call it something really inventive, like my audio recorder. Okay, and then we got uh, my audio recorder, which can be just one name. All right and we can put the package domain in here this is where all the log files are going to be located in your sd card um, it's going to be slash data slash data i believe so if you want to look at the log files that's where it's going to be now i'm going to delete all the um, extensions for the files because i want to just include all files i don't want any errors but obviously in your final your final product uh, you want to make things as small as possible so uh, that might help. Now we're going to comment out the version here before the V, hopefully. Okay, and we're going to use this one here. Now you can put the version of your application, so you can put 0 0.1, you can call it wherever you like. Okay, I'm just going to put 1.0. Right, here are the requirements. It requires Kivi. Okay, now if you just put equals Kivi at this present time, moment in time, this time and date, it's going to be 1.8. Okay, I had a few vi um, issues with version 1.9, alright, um, a few errors and stuff, so I do advise that you use 1.8, okay, because I know it works perfect, so do not do Kivi equals master, because at the, at the present time it's 1.9, okay, and 1.8 works perfectly fine, okay, this is for your uh, pre-splash screen, so if you want to put a uh, designed logo in there, and then your icon, you can do I'm going to leave that blank and it will just have a Kivi logo which is cool okay I'm going to change this to the orientation I'm going to put to all so if the user flips his device it's going to go to portrait or landscape okay which you may have to alter the um, some some of the dimensions and stuff so that it fits depending on the device that you're making it for okay now this is the most important part or one of the most important bits the permissions it's better to have more permissions than you need than to be missing one you need, okay? So just, um, I would advise that you go to Android and just see all the permissions for certain hardwares, uh, certain hardware um, devices and what you're using. Um, I'm just going to refer back to a previous file, which I'll put, I'm pretty sure that it's record audio, which is obviously one of the permissions we need. Okay. So now it would be in V4, just bear with me. So I'm just going to do CD back, CD V4. 
Yep, you've seen this. I build those uh, dot spec and be record audio. I've also put um, read external storage and write external storage. Now, I'm pretty sure that the uh, write external storage is needed. Uh, the read external storage, I'm not sure is needed, but I've put it in there anyway. The wake lock, make sure that the application stays awake. Obviously, if the user puts in um, a duration of say four minutes and your device decides to sleep, then it may crash the application and the audio that you're trying to record is not going to be um, documented. Okay. Um, also, if uh, there are ways of saving data if your application is uh, is closed using Kivi, okay, in the main app class. And you can check the documentation out for that okay so we do read external storage now you can leave the rest of it just fine this is all fine this is all fine you don't have to worry about all this okay I'm gonna put the log level down here this is for iOS okay so for your iPhone developers you can make iOS apps using Kivi which is good all right we're gonna change this to uh, log level 2 okay this is gonna give us a bit more output so when we're debugging if there's anything going wrong and uh, no there's capitals let's get rid of that so I'm gonna do a sudo buildozer you may just have to do buildozer Android debug but I'm doing a sudo buildozer Android debug Okay, there's also deploy after that, which will deploy it onto your device, but I'm just going to copy it using USB, and I'm going to fast forward this. As we press enter, I'm going to have a coffee, and as I'm sipping that, I might have a bit of pizza. Oh, yeah. And maybe do some Tai Chi. And after all that, okay, your APK is built, and it's as easy as that. Okay, now what you'll find is in the folder that you created you've got a new bin directory here in this directory you will find your apk freshly made okay just out of the oven there we go look nice and fresh now you can put this onto your um, your tablet your uh, mobile device you can put it onto your refrigerator no you can't do that but you know what i mean all right and I'm just going to demonstrate it now for you. Okay. So here we go. There's the device. There's the app. My audio recorder. You open it. It's loading. That's the pre-splash uh, screen if you want to change that. There's a, there's a switch. Okay. So let's put duration. So we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one and it's going to finish by itself okay it's just a quick demo it works perfectly trust me on this i've also got it on my physical device it works um just as it should and the audio file will be here it's called my audio 10 and we'll play nine, it back eight okay seven, as you six, see the duration is 10 seconds five, four okay three there. and it's worth working perfectly so that's it guys you made it thank you for the support i hope you enjoyed these tutorial series and hopefully learn something that's the most important bit enjoy your new android app stay tuned for more tutorials coming okay any issues whatsoever just um, drop me a line in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help the next series i'm coming up with is going to be a scapey series it's going to to do with um, networking and it's going to be a lot of fun stuff hopefully we'll be building some tools together okay so keep coding keep being awesome see ya